2,700-year-old leather armor proves technology transfer happened in antiquity. Now this is about, let's say, 600-700 BC. We know that around 500 BC we had the Battle of Marathon. The Athenians, of course, and the Spartans had brass. They had bronze armor and they had bronze helmet um, armor, uh, thoracic armor, and of course their uh, spears. But at that time also we had the Persians that had thatched uh, spear, uh, shields and uh, some kind of, of, of leather. Now, it's uh, another thing having bra brass and another thing, thing having leather. This is by University of Zurich. Researchers at the University of Zurich investigated a unique leather scale armor found in the tomb of a horse rider in northwest China. Design and construction details of the armor indicate that it originated in the Neo-Assyrian Empire between the 6th and 8th century BC before being brought to China. In 2013, a nearly complete leather scale armor was found in the tomb of an approximately 30-year-old male near the modern city of Turfan in northwest China. This unprecedented find, which served in the millennia thanks to the area's extremely arid climate, provided the international team led by Patrick Wetterman from the Institute of Asian and Oriental Studies at the University of Zurich with new insights on the spread of military technology during the first millennium BC. Scale armors protected the vital organs of fighters like an extra layer of skin without strictly restricting their mobility. The armors were made of small shield-shaped plates arranged in horizontal rows and sewn onto a backing. And due to the costly materials and labor laborious manufacturing process, I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. The cost of materials, laborious manufacturing process, armors were very precious, and wearing them was considered a privilege of the elite. It was rare for them to be buried with the owner. However, the emergence of powerful states with large armies in the ancient world led to the development of less precious but nevertheless effective armors made of leather, bronze, or iron for ordinary soldiers. Standard military equipment for horsemen. Now we know that the uh, horse archers were a very necessary thing for the uh, armies at that time. The, our researchers used radiocarbon dating to determine the age of the armor between 786 to 534 BC. It was originally made of about 5,444 smaller scales and 140 larger scales, which together with leather laces and lining weighed between four and five kilograms. The armor resembled a waistcoat that protects the front of the torso, hips and sides, and the lower back of the body. It can be put on quickly without the help of another person and fits people of different statures. The armor was professionally produced in large numbers, says Patrick Wertman, with the increasing use of chariots in Middle Eastern warfare. A special armor for horsemen was developed from the 9th century BC. These armors later became part of the standardized equipment of military forces of the Neo-Assyrian Empire, which extended from parts of present-day Iraq to Iran, Syria, Turkey, and Egypt. Two armors, distinct units. While there is no direct parallel to the 2,700-year-old armor in the whole of northwest China, there are some stylistic and functional similarities to a second contemporary armor of unknown origin held by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the Met. It's possible that the two armors were intended as outfits for distinct units of the same army, hence the Yang He armor for cavalry and the armor for the Met for infantry. It's unclear whether the 
Yang He, Yang Hai armor belonged to a foreign soldier working for the Assyrian forces who brought it back home with him, or whether the armor was captured from someone else who had been to the region. Even though we can't trace the exact path of the scale armor from Assyrian to northwest China, the find is one of the rare actual proofs of west-east technology transfer across the Eurasian continent during the early first millennia BC, says Wortman. This is uh, published on Quaternary International, and it's by University of Zurich on phys.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.